you're looking at the Demolition Man project, and goddammit, this is an awesome project. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality. That's bullshit. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality. Now you're just being an asshole. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality. So you can see a ticket is being printed every time that I swear. And this is built to look just like the device from Demolition Man. And I'll show you a little bit more about it. And let me first turn it off and put it into a quiet mode. So there's a switch on the back there that I flipped. And now when I swear like asshole, it won't do anything. So I can kind of explain the project. And if you've seen the previous videos, this is pretty much the final project. So it's a device that looks just like the swear detector from the movie Demolition Man. And it has a little printer, a uh, thermal printer, that prints out these fines. Um, it has some lights inside of there, some LEDs that light up. And then inside of it, and behind there, there's um, a microphone and a Raspberry Pi that's using continuous speech recognition to listen to everything that's being said. And when it detects profanity, then it will uh, fire off the alarm and print out the ticket. So I'll show you a little bit more uh, about it. So you can see here's the case and it's got a really nice metallic look to it. Uh, it looks pretty close to the device from the movie and the way that I got that uh, metallic look is just with metallic paper that I glued onto there. So it's stuff that you can find at a craft store and big 12 by 12 inch sheets of it that just go on nicely. And it's not perfect. I cut it out of uh, cardboard and foam board and then the, actually the circular parts are uh, oatmeal containers that were a good size to hold the printer. So it's uh, a pretty interesting, pretty nice um, facsimile of the real device. And I'll turn it around and show you a little bit more about the back of it. So you can see it's nicely finished off here. There's a speaker that plays the audio. And this switch is actually what puts it into quiet mode. Uh, so if I turn it off, now it's listening. And if I say asshole... <laughs> You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. Now it's not perfect. It has false positives. Um, sometimes, like if I say, if I say fix, uh, sometimes it, it thinks that I say fuck when I do that. Uh, so I'll put it back into the quiet mode. Um, but it's uh, pretty interesting as far as the hardware. So I'll pull off this top panel up here, and you can see this is the microphone. So this is a PlayStation 3 i camera. Uh, it's uh, just a device and accessory you can buy for a PlayStation 3. The nice thing is it's just a USB microphone. Uh, it also has a camera on it, but it's got a great microphone that attaches to the Raspberry Pi and works really well. Uh, this bottom part, I'll pull this out also. You can see there's a little bit of a mess of wiring inside of here, but the basic hardware, that's a Raspberry Pi back there that's uh, connected to the microphone and it runs all the software. And then you can also see down here, there's a little breadboard that has uh, an amplifier. That's a small Class D amplifier that Adafruit sells. Uh, about 2 watts or so of output, so it's not, not very loud, but you don't really need a ton of uh, output. And there's also a little transistor there. That's just used to switch the LEDs on and off. Um, there's only 20 milliamps that are pulled by those LEDs, but I didn't want to risk doing uh, any damage to the Pi, so I put it through a transistor. And uh, really all the magic is in the software. So this is using Pocket Sphinx, which is a great open source speech recognition library. And I'm actually using the latest in development version of it from their Subversion source code branch. And that actually has a keyword spotting algorithm built into it. And so that's kind of uh, the basis of this project is using that keyword spotting algorithm. Because normally with speech recognition, you have to have a full grammar of all the words and phrases that you expect to hear. And that grammar is used to help do the speech recognition. But it's really tough if you're just listening to everyday English to have a full grammar of every potential phrase that someone might say and all the potential profanity. So the keyword spotting algorithm is nice in that you just give it a list of keywords. There's about 10 or 15 phrases or so with uh, different profanity words. And it, whenever it detects those words, it'll um, take some kind of action but it ignores everything else and just throws it away as garbage. So it works well in this case, and that I'm really just listening for that profanity. Uh, things like mobile phones, they use keyword spotting for uh, stuff like Siri when you say, you know, you want to, uh, or even like Google Now, when you want to enable something uh, and say, okay, Google, 
that's that's a good application of using that kind of speech recognition. So th that's the project, the, the basic idea. It's the recreation of the device from the movie. Um, you can see a little bit more about the enclosure. You can actually see there's the oatmeal container kind of peeking through. Uh, the paper didn't wrap all the way around there. Uh, and then inside you can also see it's just foam board. Uh, that screen is literally just screen from a screen door that I just cut out and uh, put inside of there and it works well like a little mesh like the prop in the movie. And if you haven't seen the movie, you should definitely check it out. Um, it's a great science fiction film from the early 90s. Uh, really all-star cast of uh, people these days. Ed Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes and Sandra Bullock. Uh, and it's a great satire of what a future world might be like if um, there's no crime and a lot of morality. And so in the movie, they have these swear detectors that find people money. And it was just kind of a running joke in the movie. But we have the technology now to build these things. And this is a great project that shows what you can do with a Raspberry Pi and a little bit of software and some uh, cardboard and things like that. So that's the project.